Over the last few years, I've been able to grow a print on demand business to over seven figures that now generates me multiple six figures each year. There's a lot of things that go into this business model and it can be hard to consistently come up with design ideas or even be sure that you're creating designs for the right niches. So today I'm giving you my formula to finding the most profitable and highest converting niches to sell in and how to always come up with design ideas for those niches so that you can always produce new designs whether you're a complete beginner or you have a little bit of experience already. Now, if you only hear one thing in this video, make sure it's this. Consistently making and uploading designs for all kinds of niches is how you find success with this business model. Now, a couple years ago when the world went into lockdown, I was scrambling to get some money coming in and I had already posted a few listings for sale on Etsy and made a couple sales. Around this time, I decided to fully commit to growing my own store and hopefully make around six figures. When I was in the research phase before committing to fully opening my shop, I realized something that was very important. When I looked at all the other successful shops that are making hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars, they all had something in common. These shops didn't focus on just one niche. They were creating hundreds to thousands of designs for all kinds of interest groups and niches, or niches, however you wanna say it. In fact, I would argue that the product type, like the t-shirts, were their niche, and then they were just using the designs to target different interest groups. This mindset helped me to understand that if I limited myself to just one niche, I would stunt my growth. I had to make the type of product my niche and use the designs to target specific interest groups. I think about it like this. If you're a hunter and you go into the forest, it can be pretty difficult to find an elk. But if you're also looking for rabbits, fish, mushrooms, or birds, it's going to be a lot easier to bring something home. This is my mindset around print on demand. If you're stuck on one niche, you'll miss out on all the other opportunities around you. I've found there to be a market for almost any niche that you can think of. So by creating designs for everyone, you'll be able to get the most amount of sales. Okay, but first things first, I don't like paid tools for a few reasons. First is because it's money directly out of your pocket that you could be using to grow your business in other ways. And two is I don't think they really work as advertised. They don't give you any ideas for niches to sell in. Instead, they'll try to rank one of your ideas based on the existing search volume and competition, which isn't the most effective way to rank niches. And it'll discourage you from making designs in profitable niches because it'll scare you away with all the competition. All the information it's really giving you is how much a specific keyword is being used and how often it's being searched for. So even after you pay the monthly fee, you're still left without any ideas or actually the knowledge of how well some of those niches are selling. So my method does not use any paid tools, but here's the exact method that I've used to scale over seven figures. Get a huge list of niches and ideas for people who you could sell to, and then ask two questions. How much competition is there? and how simple are the designs? And here's how I do it. First, we need to come up with a list of niches. Now I've started using ChatGPT almost exclusively, but you can get very similar results if you prefer to just use Google. This tool lets you brainstorm ideas with the AI in this chat. So you can ask it for a list of niche ideas and it'll just give you a list. You can ask it to be more detailed and it'll give you a new list based on the context of your conversation. You can also ask it for more unique ideas or anything you can really think of. You can even ask it for a list of hobbies, professions, or sports. We're using this kind of search because people are so passionate about their hobbies, professions, and sports. And people love to buy t-shirts and gifts for people based on their hobbies, professions, and sports. But this step is all about brainstorming. So using ChatGPT can be a great option to unlock a lot of creativity that you didn't know you have. But again, all we really need is just a list of ideas, so it doesn't really matter how you get them, and you can use Google if you'd prefer. Also keep in mind that we should always be making evergreen designs for things like holidays and yearly events. So shirts for Halloween aren't gonna sell all year round, but as soon as October hits, those shirts will sell better than any others. But just by doing this, you should be able to come up with hundreds of ideas. We can honestly make designs for each one of these interest groups and get some sales coming in, but we can be a little smarter by finding specific winners that will get us sales early on so that we can tackle the more competitive niches later on. Now with our full list of ideas, we have to answer those two questions. The first is how much competition is there? Now you'll wanna to go to the platform that you plan on selling your designs on. In my case, I'm gonna use Etsy. This will work on any platform. I just think Etsy is the easiest to get sales on as a beginner. So all we're going to do is just type in our niche idea and check how many results come up with that niche. So right here is your competition for that niche. This football shirt search, 
brings up over 250,000 results. This tells you a few things. First is that there's a lot of sales to be had here. There wouldn't be so many listings if this niche didn't drive a lot of sales. Second is because there are so many listings, it's going to be a lot harder to rank on the first page of search results without running any ads. Now, if you do hold the belief that because there's so much competition, you can't get sales, that just isn't true. If you magically found a niche that only had 100 other listings, but there were thousands of people who were ready to buy, it wouldn't exist for more than 15 minutes because all of the other sellers would come list their own products for sale in that niche, and there would be tons of competition. So there's always going to be competition, and that's okay. The competition means that there's sales to be had. So if we make a search for photographer shirts, you can see that there's way less traffic, around only 7,000 results. So if we list designs for sale in this niche, we'll probably rank a lot higher sooner, but because there's less search volume, we'll probably make a lot less money over the life of that design. I know a lot of people on here want you to use a tool to find out how much search volume there is or what the competition score is, but you don't need that. Just make good designs for all kinds of niches and you'll get sales. Your goal should be about the amount of designs that you upload since you can control that and not the amount of sales that you're getting. If you don't have enough sales, you don't have enough listings up. But the next part of the question is how simple are the designs that are selling? But what is a simple design? It's a design that does not include complex graphics or trademarked elements. Now this is more important than you think and here's where it comes in super handy for beginners. If our idea was to make motorcycle shirts, Almost all of the competition here uses highly complex graphics with skulls and whatnot, and these can be really hard to create. People love simple designs. And if you were to look at the two most simple designs from the motorcycle search, you can see that they have more reviews than any of the other fancy graphic shirts. And you could easily make a very similar simple text design. Complex graphics take a lot more time and skill. Combine the simple designs with the medium sized niche providing you with a decent amount of traffic with not an insane amount of competition. And you've got, in my opinion, a winning niche. This would be a good opportunity to create some simple text designs. If we were to go back to the football search, we can see over 200,000 results and a lot of the best-selling designs are already simple text designs. This means it will be a lot harder for us to rank in search results with our own simple text designs. But don't get me wrong, we should still create simple text designs for this niche. We'll just adjust our expectations because we know that there's a lot more competition. We'll also remember external variables like the fact that football shirts will only probably sell from September to January. So if we make a bunch of football shirts in March, they probably won't sell for a while. One great way to still sell in a niche like this but avoid huge competition is by diving a little bit deeper and make football player position shirts like quarterback or lineman. The competition on these searches will be a lot lower. Now, if we come back again to the photography shirts, we can see that there's only 7,000 results. There's a mix of simple graphics and simple text designs, but there's one last thing that we can learn here. If we look at this shirt, for example, it's a highly rated photography shirt. Not only is it a simple text design, but it's also a great template for making other designs. Just like those eat, sleep, whatever shirts that are everywhere, this can be used in the same way. You would just want to switch out the word editing for anything else. Since it's already a best-selling photography shirt, why wouldn't it also sell really well for authors, florists, or any other interest group that you can think of. Once you have one design that starts selling, you can use it as a template for future designs in other niches. This is exactly what I cover in my t-shirt tutorial video, which you should watch after this one. The less competition a niche has means the more beginner friendly it's going to be, which is great to get you sales early on, but the less money it's probably going to make you over the lifetime of that design. Now, if you do go make a bunch of photographer shirts and they don't sell right away, that's okay. As you're making more designs, the sales will come. Just keep uploading and don't worry about the sales. The better the designs you make, and more importantly, the better the design templates you make, the more sales you'll start to get. And again, from my experience, it can take up to two months for a design that you posted to start gaining any kind of traction. So that's why I encourage you to keep posting regardless of what's happening with your sales. Maybe Make posting designs your goal since you can control that and not how much money you're making. If you post the designs, the money will follow. The whole process requires you to come up with a list of niche ideas, check the competition to see how easily you can rank with your simple text designs, and the rest is up to you to get executing and start uploading the designs that you're making. The custom t-shirt industry is on its way to becoming a $10 billion industry. So if you're not seeing sales right away, that's okay. You just haven't posted the best designs that you can yet. If you consistently post a bunch of great designs for as many interest groups as you can come up with, 
eventually you will get the sales you're looking for. Go watch my design tutorial now so you can see how to take one idea and turn it into a lot of great designs. It always helps me out if you like, comment, and subscribe. You can follow me on Instagram if you'd like to. And as always, I hope this helps and I'll see you next time.